Hi Year 6, this is Tuesday's maths lesson. We are carrying on with decimals today, but as ever we'll get start off with a warm-up. We're carrying on with the Among Us maths, so you can either do it timed and try and find the two imposters, the two wrong answers, or you can pause it and work through to find the answers. Remember, I will find you, I will tell you the answers in about 30 seconds on the video. So the two incorrect answers today was the purple one, it should have been 756, and the red one should have been 6.721. Both of those are decimal questions, so if you got them wrong, don't worry, we're going to continue to work on those. Don't worry if you didn't get the percentage one either, we haven't touched on that yet, the percentage of an amount. Um, however, the fraction one, dividing fractions, hopefully lots of you remembered our KFC method, so the keep it, flip it, and change it. Just before we completely move on to today's lesson, I just want to go over and clear something up from yesterday. You had to identify the digits and their value. So some of you, for example, so let's take digit number six here. Some of you were saying that this digit six was worth six T, okay? Now, I can understand why you said that because it's in the tenths column, so six tens are 60, but we know actually our tens column is over here so if it was six tenths, it would have to be in this column. This one here is six tenths, okay? So there's a few ways we can write that. Six tenths as a fraction. We can write it in words, so tenths. And remember, the tenths means the THS on the end, not just tens, which is here, okay? So be really, really careful with that. Some of you made that mistake yesterday. Today we're going to be dividing by 10, 100 and 1000. So what I'd like you to do in a moment is pause the video and have a go at these few starter questions to begin with. If you're struggling, don't worry, we'll go through them together. Um, but I'd like you to have a go at first. So the questions are 42,000 divided by 10, 42,000 divided by 100, 42,000 divided by 1000. Hopefully you see a pattern. The second one, I've drawn it out for you and I'd like you to draw out the answer. So these two green ones are 100 counters, and then each of these are 10 counters, okay? 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 counters. And you've got to do that number divided by 10. Can you draw the answer as well? And then this one, you've got a bar model. So at the top, it says 80, and the bottom, it's split into, they're supposed to be equal, um, 10 equal pieces. So can you tell me what one piece would be worth? So pause the video, do this on a piece of paper. There is a massive clue on my board that might help you. Okay, let's go through these answers together. So the first one that you had was 42,000 divided by 10. So we can imagine putting this into my place value grid. The four is in the 10 thousands column. Then I've got two thousands and I've got nothing else in my place value column. We're making it 10 times smaller. So hopefully you remember that that means in my place value grid, I move it all one place this way. So my four ten thousands now end up in my hundreds column. So I've got four, sorry, my four ten thousands in this column end up as four thousands and my two thousands end up as two hundreds. And all of the other zeros and placeholders should move along. So our answer should be 4,200. Now my next one, four to two thousand, I'm starting the same number, four ten thousands, two thousands. This time I'm dividing it by 100. So I've got two choices. I can either move it two places to the right, so my 40,000 turns to 4,000, then to 400. And the same for my 2000s goes from 200s to 210s. Or we can think about, well, I've already divided my number by 10, so I just need to make it 10 times smaller again. So starting off with my 1000s, 4000s turns into 400s. So our answer should be 420. Hopefully you're starting to spot a pattern. This time I've got the same number, and I'm dividing by 1000. So again, I've got two choices. 
I can either start off from the start, so 42,000, four ten thousands. This time I'm moving three places. So four ten thousands, ten times smaller gets to thousands, ten times smaller again gets me to hundreds, ten times smaller again gets me to four tens. Same with my thousands, my two thousand, divided by ten, divided by a hundred, divided by a thousand. Or the second option is I've already divided it by 100, so I make it 10 times smaller again, because 100 divided by 10 gives us 1,000. So 420, 400 divided by 10, 10 times smaller. So our answer should be 42. Okay? Hopefully you've noticed that each time, this number is getting 10 times smaller each time. Okay, so 10, 100,000, dividing by, so remember the more that we divide by between, the smaller our amount is going to be. So I've got 42,000 divided by 1,000 people, each person gets 42. Okay, so hopefully you got those right. The next one, my number was 240. So if we think about it, each of these I can split into 10. So to start off with 100, if I had 100 sweets and I split them between 10 people, we know that each person is going to get 10. So my, let's do it in the same colours. So my 100 counters are divided by 10, I'm going to turn into 10s. Same for my other 10 counters, my 100 counter will turn into a 10. Then if I've got 10 of something and I'm splitting that between 10 people, then each person is going to have one. So each of my 10 counters is going to turn into one. Just squidge it on the end here. So to draw it, look like this. And so our answer must be 1024. 240 divided by 10 gives me 24. So it's the same thing. Started off with 200s divided by 10. I've now got two tens. Four tens made it 10 times smaller. I end up with four units, just like we have. Okay, now the next one, 80 was my hole on the top of my bar and I wanted to split it into 10 equal pieces. So my number sentence was 80 divided by 10. Hopefully we realise that each of these would be worth 8. Okay, we could count up in 8s, 10 lots of 8 gives me 80. Well done if you got those. Thinking about that, this is the next activity that I'd like you to do. So, there are two calculations on either side, and then a circle in the middle. What I'd like you to do is fill in the symbols, one symbol, in each of the circles. So, greater than, less than, or equal to, I'll read them to you. 15.62 divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to 15.62 divided by 1000? The next one, 81 divided by 100, is that greater than, less than, or equal to 81 divided by 100 divided by 10? And then the last one, 4.6 divided by 10, is that greater than, less than, or equal to 46 divided by 100? Okay, so pause the video and have a go, perhaps write these out. Let's go through the answers. So this first one, 15.62 divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. So if we are doing something divided by 10, then again and again, we're actually dividing something by 10, 100, 1000. So our answer will be 15.62 divided by 1000. Well, that's the same as this calculation over here. 15.62 divided by 1000. So I need my equal sign. Those are the same thing. The next one, 81 divided by 100, is that the same as 81 divided by 100 divided by 10? Well, it can't be the same because this one we've already divided by 100 and then we're dividing it by 10 again, making it 10 times smaller. So what we're actually doing here is divided by 1000. So let's think about which one's bigger. If I divide something by 100, or if I divide something by 1,000, think about the more people you are sharing between, the smaller your piece will be. So dividing by 100 is going to give me the bigger answer than dividing something by 1,000. Okay, the last one, 4.6 divided by 10, or 46 divided by 100. Hmm, 
the numbers at the start are different. So 4.6 divided by 10 is going to give me 0 0.46. And this time I started off with 46. So a whole number but divided by 100. So let's think. If I've got four tens at the moment, if I make it 10 times smaller, they'll turn into four units. But then I have to make it 10 times smaller again. So actually I'll go into my tenths. So I would end up with 0 0.4. The six does the same. Move it 10 times smaller, it turns into tenths. 10 times smaller again, so 100 times smaller, it turns into my hundredths. So my answer will be 0 0.46. Well, that's the same as this one here. So we would need an equal sign in there. Hopefully you've realised that dividing by 10, 100 and 1,000, there is a link between them. So divide by 1,000, we could do divide by 10, divide by 10 and divide by 10 again. Or to divide by 1,000, we could do divide by 100 and divide by 10 again. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and complete these sentences. You can just practice repeating them orally, so read them aloud. So for the first one I've done for you, when we divide the number by 10, we move the numbers how many places and then in what direction. So you've got three to do. Hopefully these are the other two sentences that you got. You can read them aloud with me. When the number is divided by 100, we move the numbers two places to the right. When the number is divided by 1000, we move the numbers three places to the right. Okay, one more task. I want you to pause the video and work your way through these. So we've got 6 divided by 10 hundred and a thousand, 64 divided by 10 hundred and a thousand, and then 129 divided by 10, 100 and a thousand. See if you can see the relationship between them going that way and also what's happening to the number going this way as well. Hopefully these are the answers that you got. Remember, dividing by 10, we move it one place to the right. Dividing by 100, we move it two places to the right. And dividing by 1,000, it's three places. And all of our digits move along at, in the same manner, okay? Hopefully you've noticed that it's getting 10 times smaller each time. And also the starting number is getting 10 times bigger each time. So we started with just units, then we've got a tens and in this one we've got hundreds. And you can see the difference in our place value. So this time we've got no tenths and then in this one we've got no tenths but hundredths and then we've got we went ended up with one tenth okay so hopefully you got those using your place value grid and that's what you're going to be using for today's task it is on purple mash so use your place value grid draw yourself one out good luck and please let me know how you get on any problems please post on the blog or email us as an extra little challenge, have a go at this. So we've got a square divided by a triangle gives us the answer of 0 0.215. Can you figure out what the value of the square and the triangle would be? If you get the answers, please email us or you could put it on the end of your to publish work today. Good luck.